Assetto Corsa Evo is out on early access, and in a nutshell, you want your sim to look like this, don't you? Well, let me see if I can help you out. Now, this idea actually came from Dan Suzuki. Uh, he probably got from somewhere else as well, but it's sharing knowledge, so I don't care who gets out there, but this is where I got it, so go and give him a follow because he is awesome and very, very knowledgeable. But there is a GitHub out, which is very, very useful, and it basically is a simple runtime window editor. So as I started ACC, I had this, which is absolutely fine. If you want to get this, go into settings, video, take off full screen, and you can turn on triple screens right here. Now, what that does, if I tick it on, there we go. Apply there, back up there, and you can see these lines here. So it is generating a triple screen image, although it is in 1080p at the minute. This is where this real-time editor comes into play. Right then, you go to GitHub to get this a uh, simple runtime window editor. Great little name, gotta love it. The link is downstairs. You go to that link there, you'll get it downloaded into your folder and then you open up that one right there. Absolutely beautiful. This is little cheeky rascal here and we need to go select running application. Sort it in uh, name, because that'll be the easiest way to find it and you should find ACC Evo right there. Click open and this is where the lovely stuff starts happening. Now, it will depend on what screens you have. I have triple 1440p, so bear that in mind in your calculations when you're watching this. But width, well, what do we want? Uh, we want a calculator first, because I can't do maths that high. The width of the monitor is 2560, so we times that by three, and that gives us that delightful number right there. Let's slam that number in there as well. And then we go 1440p because that is the height of the monitor. Now we want an offset because my center monitor is the main one, but I also want it on this one over here. So I'm gonna to need to do an offset of the width of one monitor. So minus 2560, and I probably want a little bit of an offset in the type because we are in windowed mode. That's gonna be the important thing here. You need to be in windowed mode, which has its benefits and has its negatives. This is all, by the way, if you don't wanna use Nvidia Surround or the AMD version of it, whatever it's called, this is just if you wanna just Play it, deal with it without Windows Surround because, oh, sorry, NVIDIA Surround because there is other things with that. It's trying to give you as many options as possible. So I'm going to do a little bit of a minus, I don't know, I'm, normally it's around 2025. 20, Why has that changed? No idea. 2560. Click set. Give it a second and, oh, we've got it all fudged up. But it's okay because this is where we can tweak it. We can tweak it live. But at the moment, if I go to the top camera, you can see it is actually displaying across all three monitors, which is nice and handy. So bear with me a little bit. I'm going to play around and see what happens. There we go. So I've changed to 31 and it has got quite nicely on that top one. But we've got a little bit of a gap down here. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. So I'm just going to make that height a little bit of green. We've got minus 31 here. So I'm just going to up it to probably 70 and set it again. You see it's dropped down. There's still a little bit of a wiggle there. So I'm going to do another five and set it. Once you get happy with where you're sitting, this is where you can start saving the profiles. Click I set a Corsa Evo, save profile, call it whatever you want and put it wherever you want. Probably put it somewhere sensible. I'm going to put it in my stream apps folder, whatever they want to call it, and I'm going to save it in there. And every time I want to play the game, I can click it, load profile, and away I go. So... That should solve your problems. If you do have any questions, I'll try and leave as much detail as I can. And also, I'll link to Dan's video, who first originally done it, because he'll probably have more information in his comments as well. Um, but yeah, definitely check out his channel. That's where I got the idea from. I'm just relaying that information. So all credit to Dan and where he found it from. But yeah, I thought I'd get it out to you guys as quickly as I could. Right, in the car now, you may want to change some settings in here. But that dash, by the way, is the exact same dash that I've got in my V-Dub. Anyway, the, the settings that you're all important one, and you probably get this somewhere else, but go to view settings. They're the important ones. And you've got a triple screen option here. And you can change like the angle of your side monitors, bezel width, just because you've got bezels and things like that. And that will really, really help understand what's going on with you. Get you sitting in the car and get your FOV right. Get the FOP, uh, FOV police out. They'll be around all sorts. Motion, all of that. But yeah, there's a view settings. There's a separate menu in Sim. And that will have some decent stuff in there as well. Good to note.